Vegan Chef Leah here. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some scrambled tofu. A lot of people have been asking me for this recipe. I've got here a fourth cup of red peppers that I'm starting. And I'm going to uh, add some orange pepper to this and let this saute a little bit in some avocado oil. I am so happy to be showing you all how to make this. A lot of the vegans in the past few years do not know how to make scrambled tofu. And they've all been asking and inquiring. And so I'm going to show you all how to do this. It's actually really easy. It's not as hard as you all think it is. There are a lot of uh, vegan egg products that have come on the market in the past several years. And uh, they're okay too. But you can also go old school and just make your own tofu breakfast scramble. I personally prefer a breakfast scramble, a tofu scramble, over some of the uh, newer vegan egg products that have come out over the years. So I got my pepper sauteing. This is gonna be really good. I made this one time at a festival and a couple of Indian women came by me uh, and they were really impressed. And that was just the biggest honor. If you all don't know, India is one of the few cultures on the earth that still preserve its garden culture uh, uh, ways. It's, it's a, uh, I guess you could call it, it's uh maybe it's a, I don't want to say civilization, <laughs> no, but they remained uh, vegetarian over the years. That's why when you go to a lot of Indian restaurants, they have a lot of vegetarian options on the menu. They practice a lot of vegetarianism in India, and so to have some women from India come over and compliment my scrambled tofu was a big compliment to me because they, as you all know, are the gods when it comes to vegetarian cuisine. Okay, so I got some red pepper and some orange pepper sauteing. I used to make this in my cooking classes a lot too. Now I'm gonna add my onion. Got about a quarter cup of onion. And while we're sauteing the peppers and onions, we're gonna add a little bit of seasoning. So I got a little bit of onion powder. Even though I got my sauteed onion, you can still add a little bit more if you want. If you want a really, really savory dish, you can still add onion powder even though you have onion in the dish is what I'm trying to say. So I got a little bit of onion powder in here. Uh-oh, gonna add some parsley a little bit later. Got a little bit of garlic powder going in. This is gonna give it a good flavor. And most importantly, I'm gonna put some fresh turmeric in here. Some people don't realize that this is the biggest part. You need to put a little bit of turmeric in your curry tofu to make it resemble your scrambled eggs. So they'll just take their foam tofu or the soft tofu and they'll scramble it up with some peppers, onions, whatever. But they don't think to put a little bit of turmeric in here. That makes a big difference. It's going to give it that color. Got two tablespoons soy margarine. Going to add this as well. Uh -oh. Look how bright and pretty that is. This is going to be amazing. And of course you put your pink Himalayan sea salt in here. But I am actually out of sea salt right now. I didn't realize when I was getting everything for the video. So we're sauteing our peppers and onions with our turmeric and our garlic powder and onion powder. I'm also gonna add a little bit of white pepper in here. I don't think that people use enough white pepper in their seasonings. We use bl black pepper, cayenne pepper, but white pepper is really uh, good and giving uh, foods a very good savory taste. They use a lot of white pepper in Cajun and Creole cuisine. And I just think a lot of people don't cook with enough white pepper. It really takes a food dish to another level. So now I'm gonna add my crumbled black firm tofu. I'm gonna add this to my mixture. I crumbled it up and I'm gonna do it a little bit more. I'm gonna mix this in. See how bright and beautiful that is, everybody? 
See how that's really, really giving scrambled tofu vibes? And we got the white pepper going in there. We got the garlic powder. We got the onion powder. We got the fresh turmeric. And you can't make any type of scrambled tofu with a little bit of nutritional yeast. So I'm going to add about a quarter cup nutritional yeast here. So I'm adding this as well to my delicious tofu scramble. This is Sunday. You can make this for your brunch. You're hosting your vegan brunch with your friends. Sometimes the health food stores are out of those uh, mock egg products. You can make your own vegan tofu scramble for the, uh, the brunch that you're having with your friends. And this only takes a few minutes to cook up. The turmeric is giving it a nice, bright, golden hue. This is just delicious. This tastes as good as it looks. I'm going to add a few parsley flakes. Well, I didn't have the parsley already open for the video. I'm still new to doing videos. Like I said, I'm used to teaching cooking classes in front of people. This is a brand new experience for me. But this is it, guys. This is how you make scrambled tofu. You're sauteing your peppers and your onions. You're adding your seasonings first. And this is it. You have delicious scrambled tofu in literally a few minutes.